Successful return to Salt Lake City. They're now five and one atop the big three and we'll close it out late night from Salt Lake City. Bivouac versus Aliens. With the rosters for this one brought to you by State Farm. You have Will Bynum who is out with a rib injury, so that's big for Bivouac. And meanwhile, for the Army Ant Colony. So they want to swarm you. They want to get nasty. <laughs> they want to put that sting into you early. Rush starts with a blow point shot. Four on the back, four in the books. Brandon Rush comes out firing again. It'd be interesting to see how much uh, of a factor Old, old and Greg Oden is in this game because in their last game, Tiny Nate decided to go small. And this is Josh Smith on Greg Oden. Turn around, follows his miss, kick out. Anthony Morrow. Greg Oden has the board. Rush in the corner again, quick trigger, and a quick seven points for Brandon Rush coming out firing. First seven from Brandon Rush. Smith can't answer with a three. You know, Smith had a big game earlier versus the Triplets. He had 22 points production out of him. Into Odin off the feed from Rush. And a hard foul down low from Josh Smith. I think the same thing for Josh Smith. He's going to need to see one go down because if not, they're not going to guard him out that four, and he won't be able to take it advantage of Greg Golden size. Shake up Glover has the capability of making a three-point shot, but in the perfect world, I would have made one more pass to Anthony Morrow. Morrow left alone for three and made some pain. Right. Morrow in tight. Odin bothered the shot. Got a piece of it. Kept it alive. Rush! Dumps it down. That is not of the first 13 from Brandon Rush. That's what I love about big guys. When you can block the first little three lineup, when you go small with Rush and Owens and Brown. And entire game. No, he's not going to play the entire game. But they're going to try to feed him in the post and see if he can get deep post position. The only problem is tonight he's off to an 0 for 7 in the start of the game and he said uh, AJ would you please pass the ball you're open for a reason he knows he's, he's had a tough start and there you go probably a miss get finally get one in the hoop it is one on one shot clock winding down Owen draws another foul Owens comes over to help out as this game moves on, I think... bad to say about Reggie after he picks up lunch. Yeah, you didn't have to use your forgive. No, no, hey! <laughs> oh, 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 Wait, day and over yet, yeah, right? Through Arizona, Western, and UTEP in college. Oh, in the NBA career, including the 81 championship with the Celtics. All around and talk to each other, text each other. And we're probably going to have a celebration during the next NBA season of that, that championship team. Ooh. Lesson it is Smith finally with the hammer. But now back to Owens. Owens, late kick. Baden attacking, ripped away. What a block by C.J. Leslie. Denial in the paint. Allow that one to play on. Goes down as a great block. Dean it up. Owens wants it back. Hollins gives it up. And an easy two. This is critical in this game. And Bivouac is doing a nice job because Greg Oden and Ryan Hollins, they haven't been effective offensively in the post score. Should probably come and set a pick and roll. Owens takes it himself and draws a foul. Gonna count the bucket. Goaltending count it. And a chance at a three-point play for Andre Owens. Back together, confident. Owens takes it. Leslie pulls it. Leslie. Eyes the three, C.J. Leslie. Odin draws two, draws a pop. Morrow able to send it to halftime. Of Bibwack scoring has come from Anthony Morrow. Brandon Rush with those seven early points, now creating for Andre Owens. 
Odin gets the offensive board, creates for Brandon Rush. Why not? Rush. That is a long two. Foot was on the line, two more Brandon Rush. That's where Odin can handle it, make it. Top two, Leslie has the board. Leslie, banging in tight, Rush, there's a shot fake, and CJ Leslie finishes. That I'll take all the love. <laughs> Leslie banging with Rush. There's an easy two for the big man, Greg Oden. And you're just not gonna get, going to get that call. You have to be strong and tough with the ball. Those loose ball turnovers, that's another way that uh, the aliens are generating some offense. Look for Owens to go to the glass. Oden, they catch him sleeping. Big Black was... He maybe wanted a review. That was Josh Smith signaling for signaling for a review, and he didn't get it. Question of the shot clock violation, but it's still play ball until they tell you to stop. This time, double on Owen, post away. So Morrow a chance. Owens gets it right back. Owens kick out. Rush, triple. Transition three. Aliens get another one off a steal. Back within three. Of intensity, and then we'll score, you know, baskets. A little bit easier. We'll have to we'll have to dream up something for Odin's spin move. Rush another top two. Brandon Smith. Odin got a hand on his low 23, 31, almost three more. There's Odin. Mm, couldn't finish that easy one. Smith clears it. And that's what Tiny Nate Archibald was talking about in his interview. Or the versatile three lineup that led him to victory last week. Woo. Smith dunk, but it's that smaller lineup from Tiny Archibald. Yeah, and it's a smaller lineup. In what? Rush crossing over. Rush lost it. Gets the handle back, tries a three. Brandon Rush! Get it back because it's three on three. There's not many guys on the back side. He was ready this time. Rush gets the block on Smith. Smith comes right back at it. That's Jeff Honus said. Right. <laughs> oh, Smith, aggressive. Now, Rush, can he take advantage? Won't go. It is a long, cold stretch on both sides. Morrow finally ends it. Leslie's triplets and Nancy Lieberman's power atop the big three standings. Brown out of the timeout. And that's it. Right. You're open right for a reason. For a reason. <laughs> Owens takes it again and finally makes it, ending the over. Finally. He wants you to stop talking about jacket, the Avery. jacket. Smooth. Pocket, hey, thank you. <laughs> Oh, Smith in tight, so out of a time. Brandon Rush. Smith, stripped by Rush. Owens hustles back. Rush has it. Rush, blocked by Williams at the rim. What a recovery. Nice block by Sean Williams, going straight up. Blocking the shot. Away from the win. Into Smith. The only chance Rush has is to try to strip Smith here and get a steal. Smith dumps it off. Played in Williams. Sean Williams. Ordinary win for... Bivouac under the circumstances that they can finish this game. Oh, Brown can't finish at the rim. Rush trying to help him out. That is a blocking foul call. Chance for the ball, and the aliens aren't done yet. After the lane violation wipes out the game winner, Brown foul on Smith. And Brown's going to the line one. It's a question mark. Now can Bivouac add the exclamation point? Or can Rush and the Aliens come all the way? Here's Rush on the wing. Emmett takes it. Emmett's looking for four. Emmett crossing over. Attacking on Williams all the way to the rim. Aliens back with it. One. Looked like a CP3 hesitation move. Smith finally wants to end it. Smith banging in tight. Lost it on the way up. Into the hands of Morrow. Morrow heaves it. Smith, oh! no whistles, no violations, just a game winner. Josh Smith ends any 
chance that the aliens can steal it in Put the back on that offensive rebound by Smith. After the 0 for 7 start, Smith closes out the game 18 and the game winner, Biv Wack. Brandon Rush was trying to do his job by boxing out, but he was just too small. And when you don't have Greg Oden or Ryan Hollins in the game, that's the price that you pay. So small ball late, Aliens had an 8-0 run to make it tight down the stretch. Josh Smith missed a chance at a game winner. 